Hello guys and welcome back by Starfield. Um, let's follow them, I guess. Hello. Whoa, you don't look good. On approach. Oh, thank you. Wait, the Explorers Group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? <laughs> yeah, right. Ain't the space we've already some got some coffee or something? Not got them, a pack. Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? You know, I hear this is the last dig. I'm busy. Be glad when we're off this rock. You got anyone else to bother? No, I don't have anyone else to bother. I cannot go to the loo. I cannot take a eye wash. <laughs> Hello? You got a few more digs to go before I feel like talking to you. Uh oh, okay. Oh. We got a special loo. Notice, we regret to inform you that this restroom is closed for repair. Heather is no longer permitted to use disposal facilities due to the continued toilet clogs. Uh, maintenance is scheduled to dislodge plunger that got stuck in bowl. Please use all the restroom until further notice. In addition, please remember to replace provided toilet papers in correct orientation. So to do so will create outrage amongst the crew. Uh, if you have any questions, please keep them to yourself as we are busy with other work. Thank you for your continued cooperation and have a wonderful day. <laughs> okay. Well, um, sure, I guess. Oh lord, I'm happy I, I was checking this shit out. The Argos usually ain't so good at picking sights. Oh, this time, <laughs> like a miracle. Oh, wow. Just trying. What? Ah, oh, I'm working. Um, I'm sorry. Dude. Alright, that... Okay. I just picked up a portable desk van. Oh, hello. Supervisor's log. It's day two of Argus Extractor's Vectera dig. Freestar Collective Claim ID Beta 7548 Alpha. Site setup was fairly painless. New record for us. 18 hours, including the elevator. The prefabs are starting to show their age, though. Time to rebudget for new equipment. Again. The crew is good. Spirits are high enough. Hella is a pain in my ass, as always, and completely indispensable. What's the saying? The problem is, I love him, and he knows it. Ugh. Calvert remains the weak link. We just can't train away stupid. Don't get too used to how easy this is to do. Next day, my boom is toxic hazards. She gets one more worse. chance. If she does wash out in the end, we've still got the dusty. And there's definitely some promise there. Okay. Oh, I got credits. I just stole that girl's credits. Sorry, girl. Got a fire extinguisher. I thought it was another message thing somewhere. I don't know. Chapter 3 Mining Suit Maintenance. All of the hazards that exist out there in space. You'll find yourself easily forgetting about CO2 buildup in your respirator. That's a huge mistake. Even a small amount of CO2 is going to add up to the course of your day. Sapping just a little bit of life out of you when you need it. Running is harder. Swinging that cutter around takes one more huff than you want. And when a tunnel collapses, you want to be moving as fast as across as the long distance as possible. <laughs> Invest in a good helmet, trust me. The rest of the chapter continues to recite the importance of quality equipment. Oh, sure. Uh, Just take my stuff. All yours. Uh, fuck off, girl. Hell are putting that first aid seminar to work on you, huh? Well, I'm sorry I'm taking not your stuff. Whatever it is. I'm not interested in you either. I'm trying to figure out if I have a... You're lucky. I've been with some outfits. This is the personal log of Lynn's amazing right hand man. Medical. That's me, Helen. Another day, another giant rock. The rock currently in question 
is Vectera, which is, eh, it's a moon. It's in space, it's got ore, like the last hundred. Unless you're me and can appreciate the beautiful distinctions between neodymium, vanadium, and iridium. I love these clowns, but most of them can't tell iron yeah? from lead. Something you need? Yeah, I need you guys stuff. <clears throat> See, yeah, I got health stuff, I got toilet paper for when I ship myself. It's brilliant. All right. What? Take my advice and pack your own suit next run. You always want to be the one choosing your own gear. Okay. I just took one of you guys' gear. I'm happy with that. I'm just stealing everything. Is it going to be a problem? Like slippers. Wait, why was there lotion and toilet paper? Your locker. I don't know if it was his locker, but... You got somewhere else to be? Uh, yeah, I do, indeed, to be fair. I definitely got somewhere else to be. And I think they will be pissy at me that I'm not there yet. Why is this person holding toilet paper? Oh, that's just sitting on a chair. Right? Chilling on the chair. How do I get up? Can I change my suit now? Because I did pick up like two new suits, I think. Bagro Panja. I fixed you guys' toilet. Oh, fuck, that I should read that. Um, Nicholas Nickleby, Chapter 1. Introduce all the rest. There once lived in a sequestered part of the country of Devonshire a Mr. Godfrey Nickleby, a worthy gentleman who, taking it into his head rather late in life that he must get married, and not being young enough and rich enough to aspire to the hand of a lady of fortune, had wedded an old flame out of the mere attachment, who in her return, and taking him for some reason, for the same reason, Thus, a two people who cannot afford to play cards for money sometimes sit down to a quiet game for love. Charles Dickinson's third novel is a tale of a young man who struggles to support his family after his father inadvertently plunges them all into poverty. Then dies. Okay. Just read it yourself. I'm not gonna read everything. I'm sorry. I'll be a bit too much. I don't mind reading one or two of them, but I mean, no. Alright, let's go. Let's check if I have an inventory. Oh, I do. No oh, more. Oh, I need to get another spacesuit. Mining utility outfit. Space on the suit. Oh, I like that one. Is it? Oh, this has a higher EM. What is EM? Uh, how do you know that? How? What? What is an EM? What's that? Plus health and O2. A mess. Higher mess. Lower mess. Higher value. Lower value. Okay. I got way too much. Alright. I do not care. Oh. Alright. I should not be looking into this now. I should be going. Hello. Hello. I found your plunger, man. You don't need those. Hey. Busy. Oh, I'll go over. Alright, so physics stuff, the management, the AC is a drafty and some people smell. Please fix. Okay. Expect you soon get it together, people. Remind to clean your space suit after each use. If you feel sick, please report to the med staff immediately. Alright. You take care of yourself out there. I am. I'm taking your stuff to take care of myself. Thank you. 
Uh, know your workers' basic rights. Basic human rights, privacy to the workplace, a safe workplace environment, be trained to deal with workplace hazards, right to fair wages for work problems, uh, the private and family uh, life. Busy. Talk to you later. I'm not talking to you, you douchebag. I'm not stealing his food. I think he will mo moan at me if I do that. Thank you. Like that one. How they say Lynn sure seems to like you. Guess she would know. Being the yeah. boss and all. I might hope so. Oh lord. Think she would like me after I stole everything? Late lady, do you think she will? Uh thank you. Thank you. <gasps> Ooh. You fitting in okay? Supervisor's log supplemental. Still My need two of our constructors at Teratic. Restart collective claim ID beta 7548 alpha. As far as anyone knows, this is just another all run. Ectera's got enough mid-level veins to keep everyone working and not asking questions. I've told Hella everything he needs to know, which is pretty much everything I know. That this is another one of Barrett's special orders. He made good with the payment for Kazal, even if it was a bust. This time, I'm not so sure. This place is giving me the willies. I think we're going to find... something. I just have no idea what it could be, or why Barrett might want it. But those sweet constellation credits mean we dig our holes and keep our mouths shut. <laughs> And I'm okay with that. Hopefully, between oh, Lord. Barrett's mysterious thing and the ore itself, we'll be done with this rock in five days, when the transport is supposed to come back for extraction. Right, done? Nice. All right, All right Dusty. Girl. Airlock, put your helmet on. Um Alright, I think I got my helmet on now. I'm sorry for being so distracted, but I wanted to loot everything. Let's hope that they do not go further while I'm in here. I cannot go in there, okay? Then not. Can I talk to you, Hella? Okay. Barrett? Been a long time. <laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bendy, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those 
minerals on Bendy? Kazal, and no Barrett, not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Doesn't even remember what happened. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? Well, you could say that the infinite possibilities of the universe are full of everything but coincidences. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Barrett? That's the Crimson Fleet! I need another gun, I think. Weapons! Everybody get ready! A lot of miners died, well that sucks. But the space uh, things are dead. Space pirates were, were they? I don't know. Did you see Lynn? Ran straight at those pirates like it was nothing. Yeah, you sure only Lynn did that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Can I sell that crap? Can I sell those cutters? <laughs> see Lynn? Anything? Can't believe the Crimson Fleet hit us. Yeah. They did a good job on that, man. Hello. This attack better not be coming out of our pay. Hey, you got any good hits in? It's not yes. every day we get to cut anything other than rocks. Yeah, I got a few good hits of in. Of course Barrett was being followed. Every time. We appear Still to have suffered piece. fewer casualties than oh, would God. be expected. I'm gonna throw up. Alright, and now what? Hey, you did good there. Kept your head. Okay. Now that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. Hey, um, I wasn't gonna bring it up, but we don't exactly know what the artifact might have done to your head, and Constellation is really the only group qualified to help. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay 
and I send your Dusty here in my place. I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lin. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Now that we've been attacked? Oh. We've got to pack up and move on. Argos will come for the rest of us. You get going. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco! Get him to the lodge! No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again? Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. Okay. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. <laughs> you going? Staying around isn't helping us out any. Hey, hey, uh, sounds like you gotta go. I'm sorry, man. It appears you are the new captain of the Frontier. Seems so, Vasco. Seems so. Um, now what, Vasco? Just up the ramp, Captain. I'll be in the external robotics bay. Is there an external robotics Captain, bay? Protocol Indigo is in effect. What is protocol in the go, Vasco? I'll guide you as best I can. Okay. Sure. So I'm now in a st stolen thing. Nice. Because technically, it was not his either. Captain, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Uh, I- no, I- I can't. Meal pack, pot, this is... A status, tired. <laughs> uh, do I have, like, a chest here or something where I can drop my crap in? Sir Vasco the Research Lab lets you discover new crafting recipes by completing research projects. Each research project requires materials in order to make progress. The materials needed can range from raw materials and structure for plants to organic substance structure for alien creatures and plant life. Ooh, cool. Oh I like that. 
Do I have stuff? Seems I do not have stuff. I have nothing. Well, I did grab quite a bit, is it? All right. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything at this point. Literally. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances, in short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery Class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. He stole it from Constellation, where I'm going to right now? Oh, Lord. Oh, hello. Oh, I found his toilet. <laughs> well, hey there, irate pirates. Looks like you finally did it. Boarded my ship, scrapped my bot, ripped those beautiful brown eyes out of my adorably cherubic face, and then you discovered the guy you had pegged as a treasure hunter doesn't actually have any treasure. Not anymore. It's true. I may have had a pricey trinket or two when I evaded your sorry asses at Kumazi, but brother had to buy fuel. So you get nothing, except my ghost. Cause I am gonna haunt your asses till the end of your days. Which for a Crimson Fleet pirate is about what? Uh, another week? Oh, I can cook. Alien jerky, alien sandwich. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun in this. Um, so I will be ending this episode right here. What is that? Sandwich, rye bread, less cheese, multi meat. Missing chunks. <laughs> I will be ending this episode right here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked it. And I hope I'll see you guys in the next one that I make. Bye-bye. Um,